Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report, one of Timer Digest's top ranked stock market and bond and gold market timers. And uh, while I've been trading for bring my 30 plus years trading experience to the markets and to this channel, uh, this is our three year day trading or short term account services and you can see um, our results there the first three years one year first year great start second year down third year off to a great start so uh, while we've been trading for a long time over 30 years we are relatively new to YouTube so we appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button the reminder bell and the like button we appreciate you guys helping out our channel Today we're going to get into a little uh, analysis of the S&P and gold. Let's start with gold tonight. Um, if you'll recall, we have uh, from our last assessment on gold, we're talking about the uh, three waves up in the fourth wave triangle. Just a quick uh, review, if you will. We start from the March lows like everything else bottomed, all almost all indices and everything else stocks and we had a wave one up a wave two down a wave three up classic contracting triangle fourth wave and then uh, I believe we had a wave five up to uh, 2215 so we're going to look at this a little more closely since this fourth wave triangle so let's dig into that a little bit uh, more close here let me get in to this and we can see Again, that uh, from wave three, we had an A down, a B up, a C down, a D up, and a throw under in wave E, which is classic. And um, we broke that trend line. So we want to look at this. Uh, this is the end of fourth wave. So the fifth wave has started. We want to look at this from that September 8th low. So let's go to a hourly chart and give me a minute here to clean this up a little bit. And we'll get to that September 8th low, which would be, where's wave E? And there's the September 8th low. So we can see our uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. All right, so that is 1. And we've got our correction there. So let's look at um, a Fibonacci retracement. Let's see. It looks like we've had a, since we last talked, from the 4th wave low, we've had a 1 up and a two down. I want to get out of that and do a retracement to see where wave two went. There's the end of wave E and four. There is one up. And lo and behold, wave two is a perfect 618 retracement. How about that? Okay, so one up is complete. Wave two appears complete at an ideal 618 retracement. So let's look near term. What can we expect for the third wave? We'll get five waves up to our 2215 ideal Fibonacci target. So let's see here. We have wave one. There is wave two, low right there. And we can expect a wave three to 1994 if it gains a 1.618 multiple, which is common, is 2041. Okay, so what we're looking at here, and uh, let me bring that more into play here. We'll do our five waves for everyone. Okay, we have a wave one here, a perfect Fibonacci 618 retracement in wave two. Wave three will gain equality at 1999. Oh, isn't that something, huh? Um, that could prove to be interesting, or it'll most likely go to the 1618 and then we'll get a pull back in four and then a wave five up to 2115. So we'll watch this unfold in our next update on gold. But we have wave one up out of the contracting triangle fourth wave low. Wave one up is complete. Wave two down appears complete. Wave three up is in progress going to either we'll call it 2000 or 2041. Then we can expect a fourth wave pullback. Remember that fourth wave cannot go below the wave one high. We'll get Fibonacci on that uh, once th wave three is complete. We could actually 
do that now if we wanted to. We have to go on an assumption that 3, let's just say 3 is going to go a 1618. So if it does, if it gets to 2041, there's our, tar our target on the way down is 2000. That would be a 382. Since uh, wave 2 did a 618, you might expect wave 4 to do a 382. We're getting a little bit way out ahead of ourselves here, but uh, for now, one is one is one up is complete, two down is complete. We're looking for wave three and gold to either 2000 or 2041. Let me clean this up a little bit, remove that so we can see. There we go, and there we go. We'll remove that. Okay, so that's what we're looking at uh, for gold. We'll get into the S and P here. Um, this is real interesting. Here's our all-time high, uh, September 2nd. This is a one down and a two up. Way three gains equality with one at in the S&P. This is a one hour chart at 31.48. And let me say that that is the all-time high. So let's just say most bullish count is we're going to get three wave correction. So this is the most bullish count we can come up with. It's just say it's a correction and we're going to new all-time highs. And I'm wrong about it going further down. So we get an A, a B, and a C. C will at least equal A. If not, just like 3 can be 1618 of 1. C can be 1618 of A. So we're looking at a minimum decline of 3148 or 2975. And obviously, we think we're correcting the entire move up from the March lows, so we think there's going to be much more to it. But that is a minimum, normal, three-wave correction in an ongoing bull market. I want to look at the uh, the internal counts here and show you guys, uh, like you know, we've been tracking Fibonacci, not just um, prices, but time. And there is the all-time high on September 2nd. There's the wave one low, and here's our Fibonacci time spiral chart. I think we showed you guys this last week, and uh, Fibonacci eight days from the high targets September 10, and we had a slippage of plus one days to September 11th. Then the next number in the sequence is 13 days, targeted September 15, and the market topped in wave two on September 16. Again, plus one day slippage. So we expect if this is to continue, the wave three low would bottom on Wednesday the 23rd, or if it stays with the plus one slippage, we can look at Thursday, September 24. Here's our internal wave count. Within wave three, we've had one down and two up. We're within wave three, and here's our targets for wave three to equal wave one, and there's the 1618. And you can, this stuff is just going in perfect Fibonacci. Uh, extensions and retracements. Okay, we have a one, two, three, four here. We expect a five down to complete wave three. Uh, and this is a smaller degree. We'll, that is minute degree. Okay, and the uh, the red numbers are minor degree. I think I have another chart here that shows the actual Fibonacci retracements. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this is uh, wave one down and wave two up. I didn't count this different ways, but it's interesting that the second wave was a perfect 382 of wave one here. This fourth wave was a perfect 618 of that. And this goes on and on and on. This one, two, three, four is developing. Wave three is a 1.618 of wave one. Wave four is a perfect 50% retracement of this wave three. And there's our wave five target there. So getting back to the, the big picture here, we're looking for this is, we'll just draw it out for everyone here. Okay. From the all-time high, we have a one down, a two up on Fibonacci days, and we're looking for a three down either there or to the 1618, which would be 29.75. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Reminder, hit that bell, that like, that like button, and um, until next time, take care, everyone.